Hi everybody, welcome to Northside Stage Music Fest 2023. Make some noise if you're excited to be here. Yes, fantastic. Hey, thank y'all all so much for coming. Um, my name again is Russell and we're so excited that you're here. We're honored that you would be here to join us today. Um, just wanted to take a couple of seconds to let you know a couple of things. Northside Stage began over 10 years ago to connect people in our community with local music that's going on right in our backyards. And that's what we're doing here for the rest of the evening. If you notice, on your way in, there was a giant poster board over there that had our schedule coming up. There's some hard copies out there if you'd like to grab them, just so you can plan your evening and what's going on for the rest of the afternoon. Um, there's... And, and, one of the coolest things about this event every year is that there's really something for everyone here at Music Fest. And that's because we've got such an incredible community of diverse and talented friends right here in Tallahassee. And this community really is like a family. I moved here in 2019 and I've really gotten to know a lot of the musicians here over the last four years. And it really is, that's true, it really is like a family. As many of you know, we here in the Tallahassee music community have lost some good friends over the past year. Since October, we've lost our good friends Randall Webster, Gary Farr, Michael Rothenberg, and most recently, Catherine Bell Long. And we know these losses have been felt deeply in our community. And if you'd like to talk to someone or just someone to walk with you um, through this, then please come find someone in a red shirt. We love the opportunity just to be able to talk to you. Northside Stage is a ministry of Wildwood Church. And so if you'd like to talk or connect, you can email us at info at wildwood. Dot com, or excuse me, info at wildwoodtlh.com. Or again, come find someone in a red shirt. We are here for you. So thank you again for being here. And uh, let me know, make some noise if you're excited for our friends, Jane and Gordon Scott. Hello. Thank you, Russell. We're going to start off here. We've got a, a bunch of our favorite old time tunes and, uh, and country tunes and a few Irish songs we're going to play for you. And we just, we know t tens of thousands of them, but uh, we, we've just picked a few of our favorites because this is all the time we have. So we'll just tell you what we're going to be doing, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. We're looking forward to playing for you. We're going to play an old-timey uh, song and tune. Uh, people used to used to sing this and, and uh, square dance to it. So it's one called Liza Jane. Two, three, four. <laughs> Now we're going to immediately slow it down a little bit here and uh, do a, a real pretty old, old waltz that people have been dancing to for many, many 
dozens of years or more. So it's, it's, a, it's a real pretty one. It's called um, Midnight on the Water. You have to kind of use your imagination. It's the first waltz I learned to play on the fiddle. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I have on my mother's hat today to give me courage because she, she was my first teacher and she taught me to sing Silent Night when I was three and because I could sing the words she thought I was brilliant, but She's right. it didn't last. But anyway, um, I'm Dorothy's daughter, her music I'll spread. So many songs she taught me, she said, go well and play well, she said. So now we're going to do what Jane, back in uh, a few years ago, I'll say, Jane started taking lessons from a, a local fellow named Charlie Ingstrom, who influenced a lot of people around Tallahassee with, uh, with music and, and things like that. He uh, helped to start a little, little place downtown called the Blue Tavern, where a lot of this music takes place. So anyway, the very first tune that he taught her uh, was this little tune called Over the Waterfall. change to guitar now and he's been playing his five string banjo I tried to get him to bring his tenor banjo but I, he said no three instruments is too much we got a music store down on Monroe Street too if any of you want to 
uh, come in to see us. We'd love to see you there. We also uh, teach people how to play. Jane is, is a, plays piano, and, and she's a great piano player, as well as playing the fiddle. Uh, and uh, I teach people how to play guitar and banjo and mandolin and stuff like that, dulcimer. We have ukulele students. I was hoping that my fiddle students would show up today, but they haven't arrived yet. But I do want to say my friend and one of my students, Esteban, is here today with his with his folks, his family, and we really appreciate them coming to see his us. His mom and his granddaddy. Yeah, yeah, all right. All right, no, next thing we got picked out for you, way back in the 20s, when country music was not, not even called country music, really, uh, there, was a, there was a group from, from Virginia that kind of started the whole thing. They were called the Carter Family, and... Uh, this was one of their this songs. Is one of, this is one of their songs they used to do. Singing a song about Dixie Darling Down where I long to be going Down where the daisies are growing Down where the breezes are blowing well, the girls from the north in their gay finery Twirling around in society Singing a song about Dixie Darling Where I long to be my Dixie Darling Listen to the song I sing beneath the silver moon With the banjo right in tune My heart is ever true I love no one but you My Dixie Darling My Dixie Queen See my gal in old Carolina Drank my booze and do as I please With all them gals along to squeeze I'm singing a song about Dixie Darling Down where I long to be going Down where the jelly rolls growing With my Dixie Queen, my Dixie Darling Listen to the song I sing Beneath the silver moon With the banjo right in tune My heart is ever true I love no one but you, my Dixie darling, my Dixie queen. Darling, listen to the song I sing beneath the silver moon with the banjo right in tune. My heart is ever true. I love no one but you, my Dixie darling, my Dixie queen, my Dixie darling, my Dixie queen. Thank you. I liked singing with Gordon. I used to sing in, you know, alto in the choir growing up, and I'd sing the high tenor with another girl. But when I started singing with Gordon, it was easy to do harmony. It's easier to do harmony with a guy than with a girl. I don't know why. I guess it's because I like him. Too. <laughs> All right, now we got a, we've got another uh, Carter family song for you here. Uh, and this one is called Gold Watch and Chain. Darling, how can I stay here without you? There is nothing to cheer my poor heart. This old world would seem sad love without you. Tell me now. Chain love. I will pawn you my gold diamond ring. I will pawn you this heart in my bosom. Only say that you love me again. Take back all the gifts that you have given. 
save a ring and a lock of your hair and a card with your picture there upon it it's a face that is false but is fair i will pawn you my gold watch and chain love i will pawn you my gold diamond ring i will pawn you this heart in my bosom only say that you love me again oh that white rose that blooms in the garden it grows with the love of my heart it broke through on the day that i met you it will dance started playing the harmonica because his dad played the harmonica and he rigged himself up a little apparatus like this out of a coat hanger so he could play his guitar and his harp at the same time we, came, we had a real I came from a real small little town up in Kentucky so uh, we, I had heard about these racks that go around your neck where you can play harmonica before I figured out the, the rack thing I would tape a harp to the back of a chair and then sit on the edge of the bed and lean over and try, try to play the guitar and the harmonica at the same time. But this, this, uh, this little harmonica holder makes it much easier, so. Thank you, thank you. All right, we're going to do time for another United States. Couple of banjo tunes here. Yeah, we once 
won a band contest with our friend Roger Udy playing this song, or this tune is called United States. I don't know if we'll live up to that playing of that day or not, but we'll give it a go. States. We're going to do another little banjo tune for you here. This one, you may uh, remember some words to it. It's, it comes from the old African-American church. It's one called the Golden Slippers. And I call it the Golden Flip Flops. Golden Slippers. harmony thing going on there. Yeah, we'd like to do harm when we can. 
So, oh, we're singing now. We're switching to uh, the guitar. And it seems like we have gold in a lot of our titles today, either that or water. This one is called Golden Ring. This is, this is a great song. It's a, it's a kind of a warning song, a cautionary tale about love and romance and marriage. It's, it's one of the great songs that uh, Tammy Wynette and George Jones did back in the 80s. This next tune that we're going to play, believe it or not, was George Washington's favorite tune. It's called Soldier's Joy. This one goes way back. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh the, yeah, this this is this is a song I really like. It part of it doesn't really make make any sense, but I'll just sing it and you can see if you make any sense out of it. Thank you so much. Thank so you. this next song is called The Fields of Ath and Ryan. It is one of the most well-liked tunes and songs in uh, Ireland. And uh, Yeah, that last song was an Irish song. You might have picked that up by the words. But uh, working at the pier for nine bob a week, like, okay, that's not, that's not here. So um, the, um, the, the, this, this next song is so widely known that when the Irish soccer team a couple of years ago won a big fancy tournament somewhere in Europe, and the soccer team, all the guys on the soccer team, a bunch of fans were all celebrating, and they, this is a sad song, but that's, this is the song that they actually sang. Yeah. And I think it's one that they all happen to know. Well, when, when we went over to Ireland, we've been many times, like nine times, but uh, they love this song over there, and it's, it's about you know, the famine is what it's about.
Thank you. This is a little Irish tune, another little tune here called uh, The Red-Haired Boy. It's one of those Irish tunes that came, came into America and got picked up by all the old-timey musicians and the bluegrass pickers and all that. So it's called Red-Haired Boy. Another little Irish tune for you here, song. Um, it kind of tells its own little story, so uh, we'll just sing it for you. <clears throat> I am a true born Irish man, I'll never deny what I am. I was born in sweet Tipperary town, 3,000 miles away. It's a rainy boy, it's a rain. No more do I wish for to roam. For the sun it will shine in the harvest time to welcome poor Patty home. All the girls were gay and frisky. They'll take you by.
Now Gordon's going to do, we're going to do a medley. It's one of my favorite things to do. He's going to play the harp again. Yeah, we're going to finish our little, our little presentation for you today with this little set of Irish uh, um, jigs, as a matter of fact. And he learned this little trick of how to do two harmonicas from watching Johnny Cash. Oh, the first, the first tune we're going to do is it's a medley like they do in Ireland these days. So the first tune is a little tune called. There's a town, a little town, tall, small town in central part of Ireland called Kesh. So this is a Kesh jig named for that little town. And the next one is uh, one that's called Out on the Ocean. And the th and the third one we do is is one she, some of you may have heard. Don't, don't tell them what it is. See if you can see if you can name this tune. Yes, it's the last. Thing we'll play. If you name it, I'll give you a dollar. No, you won't, because maybe everybody can name it, and then you'd be given a lot of dollars away. I can't afford that. Here we go. Let me get this thing straightened out here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So what was the what was the last tune? What was that last tune? Yeah. Yes. One dollar to this lady right here. Oh, that was the Irish that. washerwoman. Yeah, <laughs> my, my violin teacher actually taught me that tune when I was in the sixth grade. So that's the that's the officially the end of our little show here. So I think there's 
more going on or something. They got to switch around, so we're probably going to have to. And there's barbecue that they're serving out uh, here at five. So. Yeah, so we're going to pack up and, and get out of here, well, and we sure so appreciate. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate. Yeah, you. thank you. We really appreciate y'all coming out to hear us. We Good enjoyed. We enjoyed playing for you. Thank you.